we're going to show you guys here how to upload a base map um, for when you first build your car just to fire it up to uh, check over any leaks and get it up to temperature and stuff like that not really to drive it around too much um, so it's just enough to do all that to make sure you can get it ready to go to an actual dyno or actual tuner if you don't have a tuner that can help you out with uh, you know making a base map or sending you one or if you're not sure how to upload it so if you're starting from scratch and you have uh, just a stock K24 or K20 um, you would just go to new calibration and uh, on that it gives you a few options here to select from there's a couple with uh, bigger injectors um, supercharge and stuff uh, I would just start with you know a, a factory calibration with uh, stock injectors which is 310 stock and this is, says it's tuned so you click OK or you select that click OK and it gives you you know a blank uh, or a a blank map to begin with so first you would have to just go through and kind of delete some of the things that aren't necessary that are going to give you a bunch of uh, check engine light and stuff so the first one we would do is just go to a closed loop and uh, just turn off this secondary O2 um, and if you're not using the factory primary O2 which we never use and we don't wire in because they just don't work that great uh, we always suggest an aftermarket wideband uh, so you would disable these two um, and then once uh, if you are doing an aftermarket wideband like the AEM you would go to analog inputs and you just select you know analog zero or whatever um, select down at the bottom here which one you have um, and then you would from the wideband uh, wire itself there's a white wire that you would input that in um, into the auxiliary harness in the ECU itself on on K Pro uh, Honda 4 um, so you just make sure you just tie it into analog zero or you know one or two whatever one make sure that they're the same and then you would be ready to read that. Um, so once you did that, then you would go back to closed loop, and then you would go to external wideband, and then you would select your analog zero, one, two, or whatever you chose that in the other screen. Uh, so the next thing would be uh, fuel injectors. Um, if you have anything other than stock, you would type that in here. Um, but they don't really and the dead times if you had but they don't really work that great sometimes um, so you could try a thousand cc's and see if it fires up um, if not we'll be offering uh, a couple of base maps with you know bigger injectors and uh, four bar map sensors for people that are turbo um, just to, for them to get started so the next thing you want to do is you want to get to the idle um, if you don't have an idle or control valve, you can disable. So you will disable that here, uh, but we highly recommend it. it. Just makes the car run a lot better. Um, if you do disable it, then your idle could be low, and then you'll have to bump up the actual um, idle screw. Um, or you could just run the idle or control valve. Um, and you don't even necessarily need to plumb coolant to it. It just helps on cold start So if you and if you don't um, Plumb it. I mean, it's fine. We don't and then you, this will be just your adjustment on higher or lower on where it catches Let's say if you come to a complete stop and the car, you know dips down too low and wants to die That means you need to just you know raise it up a little bit so that doesn't happen. Um, typically, we would just start always set it like right about here, and I would just change the idle to 900. Uh, 
Um, next thing would be the knock sensor. Honestly, no tuner that I know of uses it, and we don't use it. And you just you could just turn it off. Or I mean, if you want to use it, you can, but we don't ever use it and don't have any issues. Next section would be the map sensor. So you can leave the factory one or you go to a replacement one and you could choose one from the pre-selected ones. The most common one is the Honda Omni Power 4 bar. The Speed Factory ones that we sell use the same specs. Um, that's if you're going turbo and over 10 pounds of boost. Um, so if you did that, then you would choose that and upload it. If not, you just use a stock one. Uh, the miscellaneous section, um, the immobilizer, yeah, you don't use that. You disable all this. You don't use any of that when you swap. And after that, this would be your speed sensor. The normal speed sensor is the gear-driven one. That's between the years of 2002 to 2004 on the RSX and 2002 to 2005 on the Civic SI EP3 um, and then the counter shaft driven one is the 05 to 06 uh, so which is the K20Z1 and also the Civic SI 06 up um, so if you do have one of those transmissions you would have to select this sensor here um, and then if you are buy one of our K-Pros which is a 5-speed K-Pro uh, and they're oh, sorry they're not 5-speed they're automatic ECUs um, so you would have to input the speed sensor wire on the engine harness which on our harnesses it's the brown wire on a stock engine harnesses it is the white and green wire pin A18 um, so you would input that into the VSS on the auxiliary harness in the ECU uh, and then uh, you would come here and use uh, the number 2485 if you have uh, the normal speed sensor the gear driven one and uh, if you don't you would just use that start at that one that was on here which is you know a hundred something thousand and then you would kind of just have to drive the car with the GPS to get a, uh, a base reading to see how much it is off and then play with the numbers either up or down um, to calibrate that closest as you can because it's going to vary on wheel and tire size and then also if you have AC you would uh, use this the AC pressure switch input to kick the AC on and then let the bottom here is the fuel pump uh, which you can select how long you want it to prime when you put the key on and then also if you want it just, just to have the pump run continuously while you check for leaks before you start it you could select that and then you know sa save and then upload that but make sure you come back and turn that off and put it back to regular prime mode once you're ready to fire up the car and uh, run. So and then here on the next screen, the multiplexer, you would disable that. You don't need that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Here, there's just CAN outputs, inputs for like an aftermarket dash. Um, and then if you did like a fuel level for an aftermarket dash. next section is going to be uh, protection and uh, if you've got our swap harness uh, it has a green wire output that goes to a, a ground well it's a ground output for uh, for a relay if you wanted to run the fans yourself this is where you would control that and you could do that for the coolant fans or you could do that for the intercooler fans and then kind of get it and then that would just trigger the relay at this te certain temperature that you choose it would send the ground to that relay uh, from that wire that we provide so now the last the most important part would be the throttle section uh, you'd need to calibrate your TPS 
um, just because it's not going to rev correctly. It's going to feel funny. Um, so what you want to do is just when you connect to the ECU, that's key on. So you want to hit read with it just uh, with no throttle. See where it sits uh, resting. So you want it to be as close as possible to zero. Um, and then you hit read when you're full throttle. Press the pedal all the way down. So as long as you're within that close range, you would be fine with that. Um, and then you would go, you know, file, save it, and then um, then you would hit the upload button, and you would be ready to go uh, to make sh make sure that this is. Uh, how you hook up to the ECU. It has to be key on. So if the key is off, you won't be able to connect. So key on, connect this, and then you hit upload and you will hear the pump kick on and prime. And then uh, once it's done, it will be uploading. So key on, and then you hit upload. Fuel pump kicks on. And then you're done. And you just fire it up. Once you fire it up, you'll get a reading here. battery 